Welcome to the first in a new series that I'm going to be doing on some of the techniques used in different species and also have a little look at some projects. This tree, a hawthorn, was purchased at the Nolanders show in 2018 and immediately obtained the nickname Swampy due to all the uh, moss all over the tree. So everyone that I was with knows it's swampy so we're going to keep with that although the first job and the only job really this year will be to clean all the tree in the hope that we can stimulate some back budding on some of the areas of the tree there's one or two possibilities for styling we have what would make a good apex up here on this section and possibly one further back over there but for this year we'll just feed the tree well let it grow clean it up and see what happens then next year I hope to remove any decent unwanted sections and use those as air layers for new smaller trees so the idea here is to try and get at least three or four trees out of uh, out of this one piece of material. The base itself is one of the big features of this tree. And as you can see, if I pop my hand in there, it is huge. Okay, it's a uh, it's a really decent width across. And coming up, we've got some good interest. There's obviously a bit of a hollow in here. That's going to create good interest. But this section could all come off, but then we would have a really, really good tree out of this. And like I said before, using either this one as an apex or keeping this section to here, cutting it here, and using that one as an apex. And the only problem there is that one starts to lay a bit flat going off at the back. So this is probably what we're going to use and then hopefully the tree will end up just here somewhere so like I say first job is to remove all that moss and have a good clear up this is Hazel she's always my little helper but she does like to uh, run around the garden and cause absolute mayhem uh, while we're on this shot these are some of my smaller trees uh, at the moment we're just at the beginning of March so not everything is out at the moment um, and if we have any late frosts then a few of the bits will get put away again just to protect them but I'll show you some more of my trees at a later date <laughs> 